Hey everybody, what's up? This is Zakir's Gym. I hope everyone's had a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be talking about how to lose belly fat fast. So sit back, enjoy, grab some popcorn, but make sure it's low fat. Stay tuned. <laughs> So first off, I'd like to talk about why some people have more fat than others. So two huge reasons. First off, it's genetics. You can't really help that. But a second huge reason is the lifestyle you're living. So if you're living a sedentary lifestyle where you're not really elevating your heart rate enough to burn fat, and you're just sitting around, even at work, if, you're, if you have a desk job where you're not doing much in terms of activities, and then you're eating fast food like Jimmy John's, whatever, that contains high fats, salt, sugars, carbs, all those bad things, naturally you're gonna put on fat because it's slowing down your metabolism because you're not exercising to keep your metabolism raised. So the goal of this video is to essentially show you how you can really elevate your metabolism and keep it elevated even after you're done exercising so that throughout the day, even if you eat something, it'll help burn it off more and essentially in the long run you'll have lower fat as a result. So for everyone watching at home who hates doing cardio, I'm very sorry but you're going to have to do some form of cardio in order to burn belly fat. There's really no way around it. So now there's been a lot of debate going on as to which form of cardio is the best for this. So I went on the internet, I did some research and I discovered that for those of you who have body fat lower than 8% for men, and about 12 to 13 percent or lower for women you can do fasted cardio this is basically where you wake up prior to breakfast do some sort of cardio for 15 to 20 minutes usually elevate your heart rate to about 160 to 180 beats per minute nothing more than that because then it goes into the second form of cardio which i'm going to discuss later so for people with lower body fat who just want to finish off and just loads of just a little more fat that's the best form of cardio for you guys so now for everyone else men with body fat percentages above eight percent and women with body fat percentages above 12 to 13 percent the best form of cardio for you all to do is high intensity interval training abbreviated HIIT so now what HIIT is and how it differs from regular cardio as stated in the abbreviation it's high intensity basically you going at your highest intensity however much you can take. Usually I recommend around 180 to 200 beats per minute for your heart rate at the maximum. I don't really recommend going anything above 200 because that can be really dangerous to your health. I also recommend contacting your physician before beginning any HIIT program. So basically what HIIT does is that it jump starts your metabolism. For example if you have a 9 to 5 desk job and you usually bring lunch with you so when you eat that lunch and you have a slower metabolism, what happens is that all the glucose, all the sugars, all the fats, they get converted to useful energy for the body to use, but everything else gets just stored within you and that can turn out to be fat. So with HIIT workouts in place, you will jumpstart your metabolism and essentially when that all, all the foods that get converted to glucose start sugars, fats, all those will get converted still, but they won't get stored as much. And your waste systems will get more efficient and the rest of the junk will get carried out as waste. And so essentially what that means is you'll have less fat stored within you. That is also, I all recommend that you eat a clean diet, obviously, because if you keep eating junk food, it's not gonna really do anything for you. So now I'd like to share with you some examples of HIIT cardio. I'm going to share with you some examples that you can do right at home as well. So the first example I recommend is jumping rope. This is one of my favorites. It's great. It's fun. So do about 10 minutes, do about two minutes of just regular light intensity. And then one minute you're going to go super high intensity until you feel really winded. And then you're going to drop down other two minutes, do light intensity in one minute, super high intensity. You keep doing that until it, the timer hits 10 minutes. So now something else you can do is if you have stairs at home, what you can do is lightly go up and down the stairs for two minutes, and then one minute you're gonna go up and down as fast as you can. And then 
two minutes you're gonna go light one minute fast and you're gonna go up to 10 minutes as well I usually recommend around 10 minutes you can go up to 15 if you're not feeling challenged enough and another form of cardio you can do is if your gym has a Stairmaster I personally do this a lot just go on the Stairmaster do two minutes of low intensity and then one minute of super high intensity where you feel really winded go up to about 10 minutes as well and then finally you can just jog Again, two minutes of just light pace jogging and then one minute of just doing sprints. Go to about 10 to 15 minutes as well. So that concludes the video. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share with your friends if you thought this method was really helpful. It means a lot. And leave a comment below if you're seeing results with this. It makes me really happy to see people getting results from the work that I'm doing. Thank you all and have a wonderful day. I got, I got, I got, I got